was the cooperative effort in managing and planning the lower level. We have uh, the computer center, the total lifestyle center. I'd also like to mention in the multi-purpose room we have a video in. It'd be kind of interesting for everybody to take a look at that. At this time I'd like to introduce Dr. Doug. Colleagues and friends in physical plant, uh, see Mike here, and uh, I was thinking, Mike, uh, we got an you got an award, you and Dan particularly got an award for the food court upstairs, and I presume you're going to present this with uh, the same enthusiasm because it's uh, every bit as nice. Um, it's a perfect example, it seems to me, uh, when you see what you have around you here this uh, this morning, that when you listen to people and get their advice, and when you use the talents of the people on this campus, see Stan Wideman over here, and I don't think anybody had a bigger role to play in this uh, development than Stan has. If you use the talents and the knowledge of people uh, across the campus, and if you plan well, and stick to your plan, and uh, execute it well, this is what you can find. Uh, the neat thing to me about all of this is that it is making this student center uh, facility that is going to be of great value to students from a lot of different perspectives, not the least of which is it's going to be an educational facility for students where they're going to learn and grow and develop, but they're also going to have a heck of a lot of fun, and that's very, very important. It's also, it seems to me, uh, what you see around you this morning is an example of the fact that when Ball State does something, it does it in a first-class manner. And I'm very proud of uh, not only what's been done here, but if you look across the campus, I think this typifies the way we go about these kinds of projects. And I'm glad we're paying the same kind of attention to quality and detail in the student center as we are across the rest of the campus. So I just want to say a sincere thank you to all of the people uh, who helped and those of you who are here today, uh, this building is going to serve our university community exceptionally well. For okay, next I'd like to introduce Nate Adoba, President of Student Government, about this. We have come together and unified this campus in a way that I never thought that I would see impossible. We have over 30 different campus organizations here located on a lower level. With, uh, it's just a place where everyone can come to go to the computer center. There's weight room facilities. There's uh, bears for helping arrange the financing on the project. And Mr. Stan Wadden. And all. Please feel free to come on in and visit. Uh, we have a, an open house throughout the lower level. Just walk through and ask people there any questions you might have. Once again, thank you very much for coming. Oh. 